and welcome to Cinema Sense, the show where I give my two cents on whether or not a movie may be worth your hard-earned cash at the box office. I'm your host and unqualified film critic, Bryce Cook, and today we're going to be jumping into the sci-fi adventure drama Ad Astra. Ad Astra kicks off in the not-too-distant future where space exploration reigns as a symbol of hope for the future of mankind. We, the audience, are introduced to Major Roy McBride, astronaut and son of H. Clifford McBride, famed leader of the Lost Lima Project expedition which was tasked with journeying to the furthest reaches of Earth's solar system. Thirty years after the loss of the Lima Project team, Earth is threatened by cosmic electrical surges that seem to stem from the legendary expedition's work. It's up to Major Roy McBride to uncover the fate of his father and stop the surges before our blue planet is destroyed. And with that, let's jump into what I liked. First, Brad Pitt. Because it's Brad Pitt. And you have to like Brad Pitt in order to enjoy this movie because 80% of this film is just a compilation of close-ups of Brad Pitt in stunning detail. And I mean see nose hair kind of detail. And yes, ladies and gents, Brad Pitt's nose hair looks just as fresh as the rest of his hair. Real talk though, Brad Pitt delivers a masterclass in acting throughout this film and he is truly the glue that holds this entire cinematic adventure together. And that's important because this film is very character driven and is an excellent demonstration of character growth and progression that feels real and natural. For all of this movie's strengths, however, I personally struggled with the pacing of this film. Many scenes just felt too long, and I could tell that in some of the scenes, the slow pace was being used as a mechanism to simulate the vast loneliness of space for the audience. But even knowing that, those simulations drug on past their meaningfulness, to the point of even pushing me towards boredom. Aside from that, the movie also seems to propel itself primarily through the stupidity of the characters around the protagonist. These characters, in theory, should be just as well trained as our boy Major McBride, but instead all seem really terrible at their space jobs. I mean, next to the calm, cool, and collected Major McBride, the actions of his colleagues almost appear comical. It just made certain events in the story really hard to buy into. Overall, I'm really on the fence with this film. Literally sitting in the theater, with the credits rolling in front of me, I could not honestly tell if I liked or disliked this film. On the one hand, it is a gorgeous film with excellent performances, and on the other, it's just kind of boring. I think my opinion here might be really divisive, but I don't think this film has a lot of rewatchability. Like, it's not a bad movie by any stretch of the imagination, but for me to want to watch it again, I would have to really, really be in the mood for it. Ultimately, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you go see this movie in the theaters, but I also think you would enjoy it just as much when it hits home release. But that's just my two cents on the subject. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments because I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for another review in the next episode of Cinema Sense. 